Hi there, Mrs. Elkie here. So a fun project that my kids and I have enjoyed doing recently is painting rocks. And I'm guessing most of you have painted a rock before. So of course we went into our backyard and we have a bunch of rocks. So I told them to pick out some from under the deck and especially grab some smooth, flat rocks. And we started painting them. And the first thing that we did was we took some outdoor paint and we painted a bunch of rocks turquoise and a bunch of rocks red and a bunch of rocks purple and kind of made this big group of different colored rocks and just painted them all one color for the background, okay? Then we went and added cute little designs on each one of our rocks. And our goal is to hide these rocks around town for other people to find and to make their day. So uh, we went ahead and add little notes. So I have two little pictures on this one, super cute. And hopefully people will enjoy looking at our creations. So uh, here's how you do it. Follow along and please let me know if you have any questions, all right? Enjoy and can't wait to find some of your rocks around town. I wanted to share with you some of the rocks that we have already started decorating. You can see that um, this section here was originally turquoise, this section blue, red, we did some peach color, purple, and some yellow. So I started out again by uh, painting the entire rock on the top, just one color, like here's a purple one. I did leave the bottom blank, and this I used an outdoor paint for. So I have these that I got um, just from Michaels or whatever they, uh, like Walmart, um, Home Depot, places like that. And this is an exterior paint, it's gloss, so it makes it a little bit shiny. And it says on here that it's for indoor and outdoor durability. Um, you could use a craft paint like this, and I've definitely used craft paint before, and it was fine, because um, you know, it doesn't really need to last forever, but if you do want it to be shiny and hold up better to the outdoors, then I would look for a paint that specifically says exterior on it. I've also gotten little color samples done. This one is one that I made, um, this is bare, and it set, again says for interior or exterior use. So they'll hold up a little bit better to the sunlight if you use exterior paint. And then once all of those paints were dry, I could have used the same paints in a real little brush to decorate, but I find especially with little kids, um, it's hard to get much detail. So instead of using the paint to decorate, we use paint pens. And the brand that I use is Posca. Uh, this is something that I ordered off of Amazon. I got a set that, involved, that has lots of different colors. And these are permanent pens um, and they're kind of painterly. So they go on more as paint than like a Sharpie would. And Sharpies would actually work great too. And um, the nice thing about these is you can actually blend them while they are still wet. So if you have two colors that you want to kind of blur together, you can blend them using these Posca pens. So like I did that a little bit with this rainbow. Um, some of the colors like blended together a little bit when I did that. So I use the Posca pens to decorate the rocks. 
and um, the different colors. You can see some of them I used outlines for, so like this cute little uh, Mo Willems pigeon. I did a little dark blue outline so it would stand out better. Um, they also work well for writing, so you could just do like a design and then add some words to it, some letters. Um, they work well for like little dots too. I have, like the cute little dots here just with using the pens. So I'm going to go ahead and decorate one of my rocks so you can see how I do it. For this rock, I want to get a kind of like mandala design. So that would be something similar to this one here where it's just kind of a circle with lots of fun little patterns. So I'm going to start off with yellow and I'm just going to make a little dot where I want the middle of my circle to go and then I'm going to just start adding decorations around it. So maybe the first decoration is going to be some little flower-like brush strokes, kind of like a little zigzag that goes around the dot. Then maybe I'll add some little dots in between those. And then maybe I'll add an actual circle around what I have so far. And then I've got this dot that's here already, so maybe I'll just go with that and add some all the way around. And yellow is a good one to do on blue just because it'll help it stand out better. So I'm going to go ahead and with the yellow for now and then maybe I'll come back in and add some other colors. Maybe I'll add some little curve lines next. And you can see like I'm not really measuring. If you want to measure you can do that too. Probably the trickiest thing is because it's not a smooth surface. It's hard to always get smooth lines, but you know, we can just kind of run with it. My girls and I were on a bike ride the other day and my girls got so excited because we actually found some painted rocks along our bike ride. Someone had left some in this rock area by a sign next to the neighborhood that we were riding by and we decided to leave them there for someone else to find. All right, so there is some, all of my yellow. I'm gonna switch to a different color and I'll just kind of go in and add some pink in and just maybe other little lines or sections where I think could use some extra color. So this really is a relaxing um, process. It's kind of fun just to think of creative ways that you can add lines or shapes to add to the design. So I'll add little lines in between my dots. Maybe I'll go ahead and switch to another color. I've got green here. These are too, if you shake them, it kind of gets the paint moving better too. So sometimes I start by shaking them. Maybe I could put little green dots along this line. So it's just kind of whatever you want to add that will make the design super cute. All right, when I've added whatever I want to add to my design, there's actually a group called Lacrosse Rocks in my area, because I live by La Crosse, Wisconsin. And um, this group has like a Facebook page where you can go and either share pictures of the rocks that you're making or share pictures of rocks that you find. And so on the back of each of my rocks, I like to take my white and just write a hashtag mark like this, and then write lacrosse, which is L-A-X, rocks. And that way people can add the hashtag when they find them or they'll know that there's a group out there that they can look up to see other rocks and maybe get ideas of like which parks they have them hidden at. Um, I'm guessing your area, if you live especially in a larger city, probably has a group like this. So you can type in your city and rocks 
um, I forgot the S, and see if you have a group like this as well. So we're gonna go ahead and add a picture of all of our rocks to the group and then maybe we'll let them know um, some of the parks that we're gonna hide them at so people know where to look for them. So kind of a fun activity. All right, thanks so much for watching and I hope you have fun creating, painting, and decorating your rocks.